Hi friends, it's Miss Deborah, and today I'm going to read to you my favorite book. It's called Nothing to Do by Douglas Wood, illustrated by Wendy Anderson Halperin. Once in a while, along comes a day when there is nothing, absolutely, positively nothing to do. And isn't that great? No school, no homework, no little league, no dance class, no play rehearsal, no soccer practice, no computer camp, no anything. Just a white empty space on the calendar. Of course, some people get a little worried about these spaces these people are very nice and wear big shoes, but we'll think about them a little while later. But what do you do when there's nothing to do? Well, I have heard stories, wonderful stories about taking off your shoes and walking through green grass or mud in your bare feet. Or making toy ships out of sticks and sailing them across a puddle that somehow seems as wide as an ocean. I've heard about lying on your back and watching clouds turn from dinosaurs into crocodiles, into dragons, into bears, into butterflies, into clouds. Or lying on your stomach watching an ant carry something three times bigger than he is, while you wonder, how can he do that? And what do ants eat for breakfast that makes them so strong? I've heard of making a paper airplane do loop-de-loops and barrel rolls in the soft summer air, and then land smooth as butter on bread or building a fort, a secret place where no one can see you because you can't see them, and surviving for hours on peanut butter sandwiches and lemonade. I've heard about catching fireflies on a warm evening and putting them in a jar until you have two hands full of gold and then letting them all go. I've heard of swinging until your toes touch the clouds or hanging by your knees like a monkey just to find out how monkeys feel. I've heard of climbing a good tree that's been waiting all its long life just to be climbed by you. Or finding a quiet spot and reading your very favorite book and then reading it again just because it is your favorite. I've heard stories about exploring places that really need to be explored. About making angels in the snow or igloos in caves or sledding or tasting icicles or throwing snowballs or building round fat men with orange noses and old hats who smile at everyone. Why I've heard of swimming and building sand castles and hopscotching and jump roping and running and throwing and bouncing and painting and drawing and playing with toys and puzzles and dolls and games and puppies and kittens and hamsters and gerbils and doing cartwheels and doing somersaults and doing well, sometimes just doing nothing. And maybe one of the best ways to do nothing is to show someone else how to do it. Maybe even someone with big shoes. Just to remind them that sometimes doing nothing is the most important thing in the whole wide world to do. The end. Thanks for letting me read that book. I hope you enjoyed it.